when I reached and touched him, blood appeared on my fingers. Michael Dunn, the man charged with first degree murder in the Jordan Davis case, looked on as witnesses relived the night the 17 year old was shot and killed. Davis's best friend, Leland Brunson, among those who testified. Do you love Jordan Davis? Yes. Are you lying for Jordan Davis? No. He was sitting next to Davis in the back of a red SUV when an argument over loud music broke out at a Jacksonville gas station. It's fair to say he asked for a common courtesy just to lower the music, correct? Yes. Tevin Thompson, another teen in the SUV, says Dunn, who was in his parked car next to them, asked them to turn down the music. Thompson described it in court as pretty loud yes, and said Dunn told them. Turn your music down, I can't hear myself thing. Everyone agrees the music was turned down, but that's when things escalated between Davis and Dunn. But isn't it true that Jordan Davis said to you, F that turn it back up? Yes, sir. Thompson testified he did exactly that and that he turned the music back up. It's at that point the timeline gets fuzzy. Dunn told investigators he heard threats, then saw a weapon. I saw a barrel come up on the window, like a, like a single shot shotgun where there's a barrel. Mm -hmm. I didn't see this part of the barrel, I saw that part of the barrel. And it was either a barrel or a stick, but sir, they're, they're, they're like, we're going to kill you. Dunn, by his own admission, says he pulled out a gun that he kept in his glove compartment. And he says in self-defense, <laughs> fired multiple times. Jordan Davis was shot. What did the driver do with the gun when he grabbed it from the glove compartment? He cocked it back. As for Michael Dunn's claims of being threatened with a weapon first, police say they never found a weapon inside the teen's SUV. In court, all three teens maintained they never had a weapon. When you got out of the car in the plaza, did you, did you take anything out of your car? No, sir. Did, did you take, like for example, did you take a shotgun no, and sir. like shove it under a car that was in the parking lot? No, sir. Did you, did you try to throw it out on the South Side Boulevard? No, sir. One officer who arrived shortly after the shooting described what he saw. I saw a uh, young black male sitting on the driver's side rear passenger seat, uh, sobbing uncontrollably. He was cradling a, another young black male's head. Tori Dunn joins us now from Jacksonville with more. Do we know, did Jordan Davis ever get out of the SUV? Because that keeps coming up in court, doesn't it? Yeah, Anderson, it comes up all the time, and it's really key to the claim of self-defense. I want to point out that the defense attorney is saying, making the argument that Jordan Davis is the only one in that SUV who didn't duck because he was trying to get out of the car. But today, his best friend actually testified he saw Jordan Davis touch the handle, but Anderson, he says he never opened the door, never tried to get out. Hmm.